So here's the app, Shadow Puppet. There's two of them, and we're going to go with Puppet EDU. And up here, tap on Create New. And there's some pictures in the camera roll here, so I'm just going to go up to... Um, let's see, let's find a couple of photos. Okay, here. I'm just going to tap on a couple of these photos here. And you see how they just pop down into the... Uh, into the space down here and we'll do one more I'll do that one there so uh, so I have three photos in there and if I want to reorder them I would tap down there here's the photos I would tap and hold and then I can move them around and reorder them so once I'm happy with my order, I tap on next. So I, here I am, I'm uh, in my first picture. I tap on the start button and it gives me a countdown to record. So here's the first photo of a creation I did on Scratch Junior. So this is one example of coding. I can then tap on this button here and it'll automatically go to the next slide. So here's another example of what we're doing with coding in our district. We're using the app Tickle to control the spheros. I can pause it by hitting that button there. So I paused it. So if I wanted to catch my breath or uh, think about what I want to say, I can do that. I can, uh, at this stage, I can also hit that button. I'm still paused but it's automatically, automatically gone to the next screen. I'm going to tap pause again, and it'll start up. So now it's back to recording, and here's another example of a Scratch Junior project I did with some digital storytelling. When I'm finished talking, I can tap my record button again, uh, just to stop it if I want, and then I would, of course, hit save. And what it does is it stitches together my photos with my speaking and makes a movie. So it will automatically save it to the camera roll or the uh, photo album in the iPad. So if I get here, all I have to do is hit done. So it's saved to the camera roll. There's the movie. If I tap on that, I can then hit play down at the bottom here. Scratch Junior, so this is one example of coding. I can then tap on this button here and automatically go to the next slide. So here's another example. Okay, of I'm just going to pause it. So that's Shadow Puppet. Add some photos, add some voice, hit save, and you have a narrated slideshow.